Lately, the wife and I have been trying to make more time in salt and sacrifice, and at just under a hundred hours, which the last five or so have been spent fighting the same difficult ass boss, uh, I decided to make this video uh, to like showcase the boss that we've been leveling ourselves up to fight and um, show why he's such a pain in the ass. Uh, he's one of those bosses where we encountered him the first time and got him, you know, within an inch of his life, down to like one or two hits while he was taking damage over time and then he just annihilated us and we've struggled pretty much ever since then to get back to that point even. Um, probably fought him between 40 and 100 times, somewhere between there. And then we decided to just spend our time mage farming and try to level ourselves up, get as powerful and geared up as we could. And then I started making some more videos recently and I was like, you know what, maybe I should show this boss before I start talking about how we're trying to fight this guy. And uh, so here he is, it's this little guy. He's a fucking pain in the ass. Nope, just kidding. It's not that guy. No, it's this guy up here. Uh, I rightfully assumed, which, spoiler alert, I rightfully assumed that he was some kind of uh, final boss. And he is indeed a final boss. Uh, there are world bosses and there are mages of different variations. World bosses are bosses that are obviously in sections of the world. And mages are the main component of the game which is like hunting them down and fighting them and you can re rinse and repeat that while you level shit up and uh like i said we were stuck here for a while he's a badass he's got some really cheap moves but uh this was uh this was i don't even know some people will see this and go oh i beat him the first try and others will say it looks easy and have never touched a game like this. So I don't know what to tell you, but for us it was pretty hard because he kept hitting us with some really shitty moves. Uh, he's got this one right there, and the only way to avoid it is to be in the process of rolling as he launches. Otherwise he'll just hit you and take you down. And usually it kills you in one hit. Well, not one hit, but he hits you again and you end up dying. Um, the best tactic for us, which again, or not again, but James, if you're watching this, or ever see this, please, please, do not fix this feature. Uh, in co-op, local co-op, you're able to revive each other, which you have iframes of invincibility while you're doing so. And we have, on several occasions, used that to our advantage. Uh, you can avoid heavy damage attacks, and uh, use it as a timing to take a little breath and, you know, avoid an attack while rezzing someone. Uh, so please don't fix that. I hope that's, I hope that's a feature. It's only in local, but uh, as well as the teleport jump, there are so many times that we have, one of us has missed a jump and fallen off a ledge, and uh, you use the teleport, the menu teleport, to quickly get right there. Boom, see? Don't fix that. Please keep that, because for local players, there's always going to be one person who's not as good at the acrobatics, and it really helps to be able to, like, teleport real quick if you fall, or if you just need to get somewhere real quick because you missed a jump. So, again, James, you ever see this? Shane, you ever see this? Just, just keep those in there, please. Just keep those in there. It's not like that weird long jump thing that people bitch about from the old one. Like, this is, to me, like, for local co-op, it's necessary, and I love it. So please, keep those two features going. Um, otherwise, this was us going to fight this boss to show you uh, how hard he is. I was like, hey, let's go fight him real quick. And uh, this is the full-on fight.
Okay, James or Shane, if you are watching this, and you are taking my little pee, pee on advice, uh, the camera grabbing, that's the only thing I would change. I don't know if that's intentional, but this boss grabs the camera and makes you not able to get across the screen or control the camera. And there are other times where a player in local co-op will fall off screen and die and the camera will drag to that player and stay there until they die and then the other player is stuck off screen having to fight whatever's up there or avoid death like some kind of blind John Wick dancing around swinging or blocking and hoping then like not die until the camera comes back so that's my only my only gripe in any kind of like QA aspect is that like the camera grabbing in local co-op is a little wonky especially when somebody falls off screen and dies and maybe it is a balance mechanic or maybe uh, it was overlooked I don't know and if it is balance that's fine I'll take balance I'm always okay with anything that's intentional like oh nope that's balance because you're in local co-op and you have these other benefits fair but uh as you can see we just ate this guy's heart what what I meant to show you how hard it was, but instead we beat him. We fucking beat him. So, uh, spoiler alert again, I won't show you what happens next. But, uh, New Game Plus. That's what happens next. New Game Plus. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye! Don't listen to this guy. Listen. Just subscribe, please. What are you this waiting guy? for? Subscribe, bitch. He's a jerk. Don't listen to him. Listen to me. Subscribe. I got great videos. I got great ideas. I'm going to make jokes one day. I swear you'll laugh. Once, twice, maybe three times.